Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with a look at the pronunciation dictionary in iOS 10. This is very cool. This would allow you to change the pronunciation of a word, and it is pretty advanced. So, let's unlock the phone and have a look, actually the iPod rather. And we'll have a look. 7:20 p.m. So I'm gonna press home again because we're on the. Press home to open. Press uh, home to open screen. So we're gonna unlock. Settings. English. UK. Back button. Now English. We're continuing English. UK. Where we left speech. off. So we're speech. Speech. Here Voice on over. speech. Back button. So English. now. US. Rotor languages. Pronunciations. Button. Pronunciations is where we want to go. In the speech settings. So we'll select that. Selected. Pronunciations. Speech. Back button. Pronunciations. And now we can add, and I have one here for a name, but what we're going to do is add, dimmed, phrase, text field, is editing, character mode, insertion the phrase. point, start. So I'm going to put in my last name. It says it right, however, I'm going to have it change the pronunciation of it a bit. Cap C, Cap, Cap G, Cap G, A, A, L, 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 A, A, F. F G G H H E E R R Phrase Text field is editing Gallagher Character mode Insertion point at end Substitution Text field Double tap to edit Insertion point at end Now substitution is the next box And this is what we can put Or we can put A different spelling So It would make it sound like it was saying something saying it a different way. So we'll put in Cap G. Cap G. O O L L L L S A A F G G J H J H H E E E R R Substitution. Text field is editing. Gallagher. Character mode. So make it take Gallagher instead of Gallagher. Dictate replacement. Now you can dictate the replacement. But in my limited testing that does not work so well. Dictate replacement. Double tap to start recording. Recording will stop automatically. Dictate or spell out how you want the phrase to be pronounced. Languages. English. U.S. Button. So we can choose the language, so it's, so it's English, U.S. Voices. All. Button. And voices all. Ignore case. On. And ignore case. Apply to all apps. On. Apply to all apps. Q. And that's it. So if we go to the top right here. Play. Sub play. Button. Gallagher. And then. Replacement. Pronunciations. Back we just go back. And it will be here in our list. Gallagher. Gallagher. Actions available. So that is a pronunciation dictionary, and we can just delete. Well, let's prove to you that it works Settings. before we delete it. Double so to I'm going to go Actions into. Available. Do not disturb. Blue, ninety-four percent battery power. Status bar item. Let's see if Swipe I down can. with three fingers to reveal the notification center. Reminders. Spotlight. Text field. Is editing. Search. Character mode. Insert F. G. G. A. A. Twenty-nine items found. Delete. L. L. Twenty-three items found. L. 32 items found. Top search result. S. Sierra. A. A. 20. D. F. G. G. 20. H. A. 20. S. D. R. 11 items found. Delete. R. 20. S. E. E. T R. R. 27. Space. Space. 27 items found. Top search result. Text field. Is editing. Gulliver. Character mode. See? Insertion point it worked. Face on. Two so now we'll go in settings. and we'll delete it. So to Setting. delete it, you edit, just edit, edit, edit. Button. Edit. Button. find it in the list. Gallagher, so I'll do Gallagher, that. Button. Edit. Button. Gallagher, Gallagher, button. And now Actions slide available. down. Delete. With one finger to, for the delete action and double tap. And, the and it's gone. So that is how you use the pronunciation dictionary in iOS 10 to make voiceover pronounce words correctly. This is a very useful feature if maybe you're reading a book and it's constantly saying something wrong. You know, it's definitely a useful feature. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next, we'll look at changing the text-to-speech voice system-wide for apps that do not have a voice changer. So I hope you've enjoyed this in the next video.